Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And looks like again we're talking about the SMP. Great. Looks like they've been playing a bit of a power struggle. And they decided to build their own border. You know, probably a little influence to get their little independence referendum going on here. But it looks like Nicola doesn't want to give up her powers because she's actually blocking people. Well, she announced on, uh, was it Thursday or Friday? She announced that, you know, the freedom of uh, everyone could go about their business because it used to be a five mile range limit and that was it. Now everyone can go wherever they want, still the strict of the two meters, amongst other things. One of those things did not seem to get any change of mind was the the Fleece and Galloway position, where where there was influence of possibly another Spanish flu, I must call it that in case I get demonetized, uh, was injected into Dunfleece and Galloway. If you don't know where that is, it is down with the Scottish border of England. That's where the Scottish administration has the last of their power down there. And she decided to tell all the people down there, you cannot go into England. Because England can get the hairdressers, England can get the bars open, England can do this, England can do that, but the Scottish people have to stay at home. If this is not a wake-up call, I don't know what is, but maybe people in Scotland are just stupid and think their freedom is everything they have, which they realise soon enough they won't have. So, we're going to be looking at an article today where it explains the situation where most of this influence has been led from, but I really think it's fucking stupid. So the entirety of Scotland can go wherever it likes, but certain postcodes can't. The restriction of freedom of movement because you're fear feared of the Lurgy or the Spanish flu part two? Very strange. Let's go and take a look at the article. Twitter erupts as Sturgeon ban Scots from England with border continues under lockdown. Nicola Sturgeon has accused of banning Scottish people from England as she incites the five mile lockdown restrictions must be followed by the country uh, counties on the border. Uh, I, I actually said borders myself, I, I shouldn't be calling a border because it's a uh, county, it's different. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon announced beer gardens and outdoor cafes to, that can reopen for Monday in Scotland, meanwhile maintaining two metres of social distance, I wouldn't know that, and people can drive further than five mi miles, but in instead of Annan, Glenta, Dunfleece, Lockerb Lockerbie, sorry, and those other two places, must continue to observe the five mile lockdown restrictions until the cross border continues, coronavirus cluster is contained, her comments come ahead of England reopening pubs on Saturday. Fucking hell, might as well be fucking North Korea this way, state. Fucking hell. I is she really serious about that? Like, the entire Scotland has to go Flee as the hills, but no, well, no, that's long. Scotland can be restricted by the North Koreans, but if you go to South Korea, as in England, where they have the freedom of the British Isles in there, fuck that. Everyone else up the north can be fine, but you get muggled for the fucking shops, you know, get stopped the going for fucking masks, but Jesus Christ. So, you're restricting them because they, England's offering them a better fucking choice, right? That's what it is. They're getting a better choice and you're saying fuck off to them. God's sake. Speaking to the daily briefing, Miss Sturgeon said, uh, the advice guidance people living the areas, I'm not going to say those names again, is to continue for the five mile travel restriction over the weekend until te the testing and contract tracing process has been complete. And we are able to assess whether that outbreak has been contained. We will push for particular postcodes and guidance applies to social media. And later on, we will provide further updates on Monday. I'm still looking for those. If you pl have plans to travel into these areas over the weekend, we should 
travel advice while you are there. She added, the five mile limit means you should not travel to pubs south of the border over this weekend. It does. It does. Uh, I know this will not be welcome new good sorry welcome news for people in those areas and i'm generally sorry for that no you're fucking not quite no bloody way you are you are enjoying this and you are enjoying the fact oh i've got the power now to stop scots folk from going to england where is the fucking minefield border i'm looking for fucking hell you are enjoying having this totalitarian rule over Scotland, and you are just going to make every life worse and worse until your entire clan system is going to fuck up. But folk are so stupid nowadays, they don't seem to understand how this works. But it's alright, we'll keep going, see how it happens, but let's make sure the English folk, the Welsh folk, that Northern Irish folk can get all the luxuries that we could have had, but they will just stay in Scotland. Nice. Twitter erupted as Scottish residents condemned the move. No fucking one, it's Twitter. One Twitter user wrote Sturgeon is effectively trying to ban you from England. Yeah, they fucking are. Another added, you are really going to believe what Nicholas Sturgeon is saying. There's just, there's just happens to be a Slight spike near the borders. Stop calling it borders. Uh, discouraging people from traveling to another from Scotland is discouraging people from going to England where the pubs are open this weekend. A third person, little Nicola Sturgeon, says Boris is moving too quick with England reopening only for a week or so later. An exact same thing, but <laughs> open them two days after England. Exactly. That is exactly the thing. Why is it always when Boris does something, Nicola does it after, but somehow tries to point out I do it better? Stop playing the fucking politics game. And you're saying you don't, but you fucking are. Every time you do something, Nicola, every time your government does something, same with the schools, same with the businesses, same with the economy, Every time England does something good, you don't like it, and then you have to turn around and say, Right, I want to do it better, so fuck off, bollocks. Every fucking time. Miss Sturgeon added the Scottish government had the Considering the issue of face coverings, which already mandatory on public transport, we know this. She wrote, I can confirm today that the expected start phase three which week in July next week, I don't fucking care with that. Is there anything else with this article I can lead you? Um, really? Do, 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 do. It, there's not actually much more than that. It's all due with our fucking policies. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. I really hate living in this country sometimes. And I'm not going to leave because I still believe there's some common sense around here. I'm not one of those lefty fuckers in America which hates their country so much they will still fight in it. Like, they must like it somehow. I still like mine, but I'm quite devastated how stupid folk are reacting to all this. If folk don't wake up to this, they're, they're in trouble. Like, I can go from Inverness to Edinburgh without a problem, but if I go from Dunfleece to Manchester, I've got a fucking issue. Like, oh, not even there. You want to bring up the map again? Where, where can I, where can I go? Like, um, Howick to Northumbrian National Park. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, and it's like, why? It, it, it's why. It's, it's actually really controlling, and I'm not the only one that's getting fed up by this. Boss is not having it either, and. It's quite funny. Go and watch this one. Boss is just not having it. 
back into work and getting the virus defeated and under control. And the best thing, actually, uh, that the opposition could do is stop equivocating and doing one thing one, one week and one thing another week this week and decide that they emphatically, they emphatically support ending of the lockdown. They emphatically support uh, kids being back in school rather than being bossed around, rather than being bossed around uh, by, by the unions. Mr Speaker, we are the builders. They're the blockers. We're the doers. They're the ditherers. We're going to get on with it and take this country forward. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Does my right honourable friend not share my anger and the frustration of the Scottish tourist sector, just as it's getting back on its feet, that it's having the legs pulled out from under it by deeply irresponsible, damaging and divisive talk of arbitrary border closures and quarantining of visitors from across the rest of the United Kingdom. Well, Mr Speaker, I must say I find the the suggestion absolutely astonishing and shameful. There will be no such discussions uh, with the Scottish uh, administration about that. Uh, But I would point out to my honourable friend what he knows very well. There is no such thing as a border between England and Scotland. And the Snoop Dogg guy himself has this exact same thoughts. Jacob Lee Smog. Smog, sorry. Uh, he had the same thing here. He does. It, it's funny how he reacts to it because it's like, there's no borders. Like, I forgot when I saw the video, I was like, oh yeah, there's nothing called borders. There's counties and districts and areas. And he actually makes a fucking great joke with it as well. Mr. Speaker, I never realised that our separatist friends would model themselves on an ealing comedy. It seems to have become passport to Pimlico. Uh, there are no internal borders within the United Kingdom. It is one country, I am glad to say. And the fact that there are... <laughs> the, the, there is a difference between borders and between districts and areas. This is, this is self-evident. A border is something that you may stop people crossing. Even I am not suggesting that we make people from Gloucestershire present their passports before coming into Somerset. And the same, and the s- passport to Pimlico, the honourable gentleman will remember, was when Pimlico uh, was thought to, I think, have belonged to the Duke of Burgundy or some such, and therefore had become an independent state within the United Kingdom. Our separatist friend wants to do the same and insist on passports to Scotland, and Mrs Sturgeon wishes to build a wall. Uh, Unfortunately, Mrs Sturgeon's policy isn't fictional. Many of us wish that it were and that the separatists were a bit more fictional, but they're not. They're here, and they bang on about it constantly. But we are still one country, and Scotland benefits enormously from being part of the United Kingdom. Sir Oliver Hill. And he also makes a good remark about Nicola Sturgeon trying to build a border wall. But I don't think you need to get inspiration for Trump's wall. The left does that already. But we should... I appreciate this government is led by someone who thinks the border does not exist and who does not even recognise that the term Scottish government was introduced under Section 12.1 of the 2012 Act of this Parliament. So grasping the subtleties of devolution may be difficult for them. But really, the problem of the financial straitjacket on Scotland will not go away, and we need to discuss it. Leader of the House. Uh, Mr Speaker, what a pleasure it is to see the Honourable Gentleman looking as cheerful as ever. He always does manage to, with his fine smile, brighten up the whole House. And he mentions borders, and I notice that Nicola Sturgeon wishes to have a wall. Perhaps she is modelling herself on other leading political figures between England and Scotland. But as my rival friend, the Prime Minister, said, there is no border between England and uh, Scotland, and it was shameful to call for a border uh, of that um, type of kind to be erected to stop people travelling freely between the constituent parts of the United Kingdom. One never thought that Nicola Sturgeon would model herself on American political figures and want to build a wall, Um, at least a a metaphorical wall, if not actually getting a like Hadrian with the bricks and mortar. Um, The Chancellor's proposals for recovery we will get on Wednesday, but the government has already been enormously ambitious that this scale of the furlough scheme, 9.3 million people benefiting, 2.6 million self-employed people benefiting, being kept in employment, this is crucially uh, important, but it has to be phased. We have to move into the recovery stage. The Honourable Gentleman wants to say, stay 
uh, unreconstructed and not taking advantage of things changing and opening up so that we get an economic recovery. That is what the Chancellor is doing, um, and I would refer to the enormous amount of money that goes to all parts of the United Kingdom because we are a single United Kingdom. The £3.8 billion that has gone to Scotland is because the UK is better together. Thank you, Thank you Mr Speaker. My constituents... <laughs> oh, that guy. I, I actually love him for that. He's just, he's great how he acts to this stuff. But seriously, this is fucking annoying. Because how dare she stop people from doing it? If people don't wake up from this, Scotland has no hope of being Scotland anymore. And I've been make, working on my Project X and there's still people getting facts wrong. Because you say one thing and you say another thing. And wow, it's really fucking depressing to show how people don't even look at their own history. Like, you take down statues, but you have no idea who the fuck they are. Just because they're there. Or they're white. But, that's a story for another day. So, I'm done. Hopefully Scotland wakes up sometime. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means i excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, hail the empire.